Hey y'all, first of all, please ignore the mess behind me. I'm still sorting out my office and it's turning into a little bit of a guest bedroom as well. So it's a little crazy at the moment. Second, yes, I am in my ugly Christmas sweater. I actually thrifted this back in high school for a school dance. We all wore ugly Christmas sweaters and it was so much fun. I wanted to get into the mood today though because I wanted to give you guys a little Christmas gift guide for any reader besties or family members that you might have. I think these videos are so much fun because I just, I love gift giving and I want all the ideas. Plus sometimes I find something that I'm like, oh, I would love that for myself. <laughs> and the fun thing about a lot of these is you can use them also as stocking stuffers or you could put a group of these things together and do like a little gift basket or you can just individually give them out. Etsy is also like a really good place to shop. I feel like they have some of the most fun bookish things. But starting off, first gift suggestion may seem a little obvious, but I would say do a gift card to a bookstore. A lot of us readers, or I don't know, maybe it's just me, I love to shop and be able to pick out my own books, but reading is an expensive hobby, so anything you can do to help contribute to that is greatly appreciated. You can do gift cards to Barnes and Nobles, but I would suggest doing like if there's an indie bookstore in their location, and then that way you're also helping out a little local bookstore. The next thing I thought was so fun from Homesick, it is a book club candle. I'm actually pretty picky with the sense of things, but I love this one. It says it has top notes of orange nutmeg, mid notes of cinnamon sandalwood, and base notes of vanilla, balsam, and amber, and it is so good. Plus, how adorable is that? I love it. I just think it's the cutest little gift idea. Next is, I actually found these guys on Instagram. I think they're called Pippi Post. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it is a coloring book. A coloring book for book lovers specifically. And I just, I thought this one was so cute. I used to be more of a coloring book person which I haven't in a long time, but I saw this one and just like had to have it because I just think the pictures in it are so adorable. And also what a great way to just relax. Like if you're ever having a stressful day, you just pull out your little coloring book and zone out for a minute. Okay, highlighters. If you know your book bestie loves to annotate their books, then I just love the idea of this. Really fun colored highlighters so they can mark down all the important things that they're reading. I mean, you can also use highlighters for other things too, but I think that's a fun one. Okay, one of my favorite things I've ever been gifted is a book light. This one's great, especially for like a significant other or someone you share a bed or a room with. If they like to stay up late reading, then a book light is a great, great gift. My parents actually got me one years and years and years ago, either when I was in junior high or high school, maybe. I loved it. The only thing is, is the arm on. So like, I'll show you this one. It bent like that, but it was super loud. Like it would crack every time I moved it. So once I was married, anytime I'd read late at night and I'd go to adjust my light, it was a super loud noise. So my husband got me this one. This seems silly. There are so many different options with book lights though. And this is just what I found works best. This one has a bendy neck, which is great because it makes no noise. And then it's just got a little clip to go on your book. And then the funny thing is, is I've got this little teeny one too. This would actually be really good for like traveling. I honestly got it because I just thought it was so adorable and it says light. It says light at the bottom, which I think is so cute. This one is not near bright enough, but it was just too adorable to pass up. My next suggestion is a book journal. I have actually loved, this one is from Barnes and Noble, but I have seen some really, really cute ones on Etsy. I love keeping track of everything I've read and just writing down like my favorite quotes 
and my thoughts and feelings on the book and if I would share it with other people who I would share it with. It's a great way to track the things you read throughout the years. Absolutely love my book journal and I'm like really excited to pick out a new one. My next suggestion, and I feel weird about saying this because I just love having the physical book, but I think a Kindle's a really good one. I know people love using a Kindle because it it's easier to read on the go, but also it helps like push you to want to read more. I also heard that it tells you how far into the book you are and how much you have left. So I think that helps a lot of like motivate people to like get through a book. Honestly, I have been tempted in the past to get a Kindle, but I just love that feel of a real book but this may be something that your person can use for reading. And honestly guys, it doesn't matter how you consume the content as long as you're consuming it and enjoying it. The next thing is bookish t-shirts, which I just have this little Slytherin one here, which is embroidered and I love it. And this one says reading is sexy. I've seen some really cute ones on Instagram there is, if for your friends that are Sarah J Moss fans, I'll link this down below. I'll link anything I can down below that I've talked about today. But there is this lady I've seen on Instagram who makes the cutest like Akatar t-shirts and I believe other shirts from the Sarah J Moss books. I am obsessed with them. I don't have any for myself. Maybe I need to do a little Christmas shopping and <laughs> get one, but bookish t-shirts, so much fun. And I think my last suggestion would be blind date with a book. You can either do this yourself or there are a lot of people I've seen on Etsy do this. Super cute idea. I did this for my sister-in-law last year. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen it. She's a big reader as well and I absolutely loved putting this box together. I will put up a picture of it, but it just consisted of her favorite snacks, some comfy socks, a book light, and I found a book in the genre she liked, wrapped it up, put little clues on it so it'd be a mystery when she opened it. And I actually wasn't able to be with her when she opened it, so I'm kind of bummed about that, didn't get to see her reaction, but, but that is probably one of my most favorite gifts I've gotten for someone. Hi, I'm editing my video real quick and I just had to throw these bookish items in there because I love them. I think they're so much fun and I just, I couldn't have a bookish gift guide without these items. So they're both from the same person. I will link her Etsy. There's this pin, this adorable blue pin that says this is the pin of a killer Bella, which I think is just, I just love it so much. I think it's amazing. And then I've got one of these little movie filter gift tags. She's got all of the Twilight movies. I did Breaking Dawn part two. I really want the Twilight one because it's blue, but I just think these are so pretty and so fun and just great little filler gifts. This is how the movie filter keychain works. This is what it is normal. And then you just add it and it's just such a pretty touch for photos or videos, I think. Okay, well, I think that is all my bookish suggestions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got some inspiration for some of your own reader friends this Christmas or maybe you spotted something that you would like yourself. Totally understand. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to see what I am currently reading and if there are any changes to my upload schedule. Please like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next Wednesday.